Welcome to Boot Spy. My name's William. Today I'll be reviewing the Thursday Duke. I'm gonna talk about the leather quality, sole quality, fit and sizing. I'm gonna compare it to the Thursday Cavalier, their other popular Chelsea boot. And ultimately, together, we're gonna find out whether this boot is right for you. Let's get into it. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining me. As I said today, I'm reviewing the Thursday Boots Duke. This is their most popular Chelsea boot. Uh, it's the first one they came out with. Thursday also has the Cavalier, and then they also have the Legend, which is another more winterized type Chelsea boot with the Storm King outsole. It's a little bigger, a little beefier, but today I'm going with the Duke. I'm talking about the original Thursday Chelsea. Uh, so let's kick it off and talk about the style. So for me, it's a little bit hard to talk about the style of the Thursday Duke without also comparing it to a more dressy version like the, the Cavalier. So I will kind of just be comparing these two a little bit so you can get the idea of where I'm, where I'm at with the Thursday Duke. And while I'm talking about it, I'll throw some pictures up that I took of how I styled the Thursday Duke my first time out wearing it. So basically I got the Honey Suede. I think this version, this color right here is the most versatile and I got it because this is going to do well in winter, it's going to do well in spring, and it's going to do well in fall. I think it's a great neutral color that is light enough to do well in spring. Uh, it's very interesting in fall. It's got the texture from the suede, and then it's also a pretty good option if you're pairing with lighter or darker jeans uh, in winter. So I thought it was all around just a really versatile look for this specific colorway. But in general, the shape, the whole, you know, the whole style of this boot, it is more of an everyday wear type Chelsea. So if I was gonna go for a dress Chelsea, if you wanted something that was a little bit more formal, I would pick the Cavalier. And I would pick it probably in, the, in their uh, full grain black leather. I don't think I'd pick it in this is the shadow grade suede. Um, but the reason why I would go with a more, if you wanted a more formal Chelsea, like a dress Chelsea or something like that, and do the uh, full grain black Cavalier, is it has a leather sole. The sole, the, the profile of the sole is a lot smaller, as you can see, so it's just a little more, uh, a little more slim throughout the Cavalier is. Uh, you know, the Duke is much more chunky on the bottom. Uh, it's got a quite a sizable sole right here. It's pretty heavy. It's got a huge heel on it, which is awesome. I really, really like that for casual wear, especially the top lift that actually, that lasts a really long time when you're walking. Uh, but overall, I think it's just a little bit wider. It is a little bit chunkier in the sole. Not that it's a chunky boot at all. As you can see, this is very slim. It is very stylish. Uh, it has you know, it's definitely a more European style. It's nothing close to a Blendstone or the Red Wing Classic Chelsea or anything like that. It's nothing close to that. It's definitely still slim, very modern, very stylish, but I would categorize it more as an everyday type wear Chelsea rather than a dress or more formal Chelsea. Moving on to the leather quality, this is Thursday's Weather Safe Suede, and I am a huge fan of the Weather Safe Suede. I think I have two or, th I think three or four actually, both uh, Thursday boots with this weather safe suede. Uh, and it's a really, really interesting way they do the leather. Now, a lot of boots that you get that have weatherproofing on the suede, they just do like a silicone spray over the top and that actually can wear off pretty quickly within like four to five months as you brush up against stuff and you know, it may be the way your pants kind of land on the, on the boot. That can brush off that weatherproofing if it's just a spray. And then so that, you know, six months down the road, you're caught in a rainstorm, there's actually no waterproofing on your boot and give you ugly stains on your boots even though you thought they were waterproof. What Thursday's weather safe suede is actually, is it is tanned to its core with some hydrophobic compounds. So oils, waxes, things like that. And basically what that means is, no matter how many times I take a suede brush to this to keep it clean looking, um, you know, regardless of what it brushes up against, it stays weather resistant. So it's not gonna completely repel water. A good example is I have this water bottle and basically you'll see, let's see, I'll get that in frame, look at that. But basically it just, the water beads up right there as you can see and it just brushes off. So it's gonna be a little discolored for a little bit but uh, I did another take of this earlier and you couldn't tell it dries off. But basically, it, the water beads up, it wicks off, it's really easy, and that's because it is tanned with oils and waxes to the core. So it's not just a silicone spray on top, it is actually all the way weatherproofed. As for the leather thickness, it has a 1.8 millimeter thick upper, and then it has a one millimeter glove leather lining. To me, that's a pretty decent amount of thickness in the leather, um, especially considering that it's a suede, so it probably came from a two millimeter stock and you know was sanded down, became become suede. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty standard. There's nothing exceptional about that. It's just a decent level of thickness. I think it's gonna keep your feet pretty warm in winter, but it's not too thick, not too heavy, that it wouldn't be wearable in the warmer days of spring. As I said, this does have a full glove leather lining, and that goes all the way to the toe, so that's pretty cool that it's a fully leather lined boot. It's not just like, a, you know, not just the shaft is lined or anything like that. Of course, you got the nylon pull tab, and then you got this cool detail that I really like on the Dukes, and that is just around the elastic goring. You have this other additional piece of leather right there, which I think makes the, you know, the, the shaft a lot more interesting than the Cavalier, which, or many other Chelsea boots, which just don't have that interesting piece of leather right there. Discussing the sole, so this is a 360 degree Goodyear welted boot. It has a Poron insole, it has some uh, cork filler, and then it has a Dura EVA comfort strip. And at the bottom, you get yourself a nice rubber studded sole, day night style. Uh, one thing that I really, really like about the whole sole thing going on here, it, the whole sole, is there, the rubber top lift is actually one centimeter. So this is a huge rubber top lift. Uh, it's definitely way more sizable than the one on the Cavalier, which I think is like maybe five millimeters, like half the size. So this is gonna give you a lot of life in it. This is a great walking boot, specifically for that reason. Also because the, um, you know, pour on insole, the cork filler in the midsole, uh, just the way this boot is constructed is it's meant for a lot of, it's very, very comfortable. As soon as you put it on, super comfortable. And so you can put in a ton of miles walking around, which is another reason in addition to its style that for me, it's just like an everyday Chelsea. It is a great boot if you want something that you can put on four times a week, three, four, five times a week, or if it's just your main boot. Um, this is one of those ones where you can easily put on seven or eight miles of walking in a day and not really feel it afterwards. Now, I actually did a test recently because it's been storming out here in North Carolina. Um, I did get a pair of Allen Edmonds, which if you wanna hit subscribe, that review is coming out next of the Higgins Mill. But uh, basically I compared the day night sole of the Allen Edmonds Higgins, or just a really popular sole to the Thursday rubber studded sole. And I found that the Thursday rubber studded sole actually had a little bit more grip, but in my experience, uh, because it's a little bit softer, I think the Thursday rubber studded sole is not gonna be as durable as a day night rubber studded sole, but it has a little bit more grip. So because it's a little softer, I think it has a bit more shock absorption, a little more grip, a little less durability overall. You know, especially for the Duke, you get that that fat top lift on there, that that you know one centimeter heel cap. Uh, I don't think that's actually going to present much of an issue, and especially because it's so easy for a cobbler to tear that off, slap a new one on, really cheap too. So uh, that's not something. The durability is not something I'm worried about. But that was just my general observation comparing the Thursday uh, rubber stud sole to a day night sole. As for fit and sizing, Thursday does a really good job. They offer all their colors of the Duke in sizes six to 16. So there's a huge range there. Uh, one issue is that if you have wide feet, like a double E or triple E size, you can only find those wide sizes in the Honey Suede Duke. So you need to get this color if you have wide feet. Otherwise, um, you know, you're not gonna find any wide sizes in the brown or the black or any other colors that they have. As for the break-in period, not really much of one to speak of. Again, you have the pour on uh, insole, you have the cork filler, a pretty nice supple leather right here. And then the rubber outsole is very flexible, very pliable right off the bat. So I didn't have any issues with the break-in. I don't think you will either. Even if you move on from the, the weather safe suede and try like the brown or any other, you know, chrome leathers they have, I don't think you'll have an issue with the break-in. So should you go with the Duke or should you go with the Cavalier? If you're choosing between these two boots, I think uh, I, I kind of said it already, but my personal favorite is the Duke of these two. I would choose the Duke over the Cavalier if I could only pick one. The reason is uh, I like to wear Chelsea's pretty often. And the fact that this is an everyday wear type Chelsea, it's a little, you know, I like the rubber sole more than I like the leather. I think there's a lot more going on here in terms of sturdiness with the sole. Um, I feel the ground a lot less with the Duke compared to the, to the Cavalier. And then most of all, that one millimeter or that one centimeter top lift here versus I think that's like point, I think that's five millimeter top lift on the Cavalier. That's just gonna give a few more months of life to the Duke over the Cavalier. That said, if I wanted a Chelsea boot for a dressy situation, I would not choose the Duke. I would go with the Cavalier and I'd choose their full grain black leather. Uh, that is more of a dressy type Chelsea. But overall, you can't really go wrong. The Duke is 199, so it's right under $200. The Cavalier is 190. I don't know, maybe it's probably something to do in the sole, uh, why this costs 
nine dollars less but ultimately pretty much the same price so should you get the thursday duke my final verdict on this boot is that yes if you're looking for a chelsea boot and you want something you can wear really really often i'm talking like four or five times a week it's like a commute boot um, something where you can put in a lot of miles walking that's going to be comfortable it has great 360 degree goodyear welted uh, construction the suede right here i love this option because it does have that weather resistance so if you get caught in a rainstorm uh, you know these aren't rain boots they're not going to protect your feet like rain boots would. The leather isn't going to stand up to heavy deluges. But if you get caught out in, a, in a, a couple rains, it's not going to do any damage to this boot. Overall, you can put in a ton of miles. I think $199 is a fantastic price for this. And it's super comfortable. The pour-on insole, cork filler, and then the nice thick rubber studded sole. Basically, those all combine to being a boot. Yeah, it's just easy to put in a lot of walking miles. For someone like me, I do a lot of walking. Uh, that is super helpful for me. So yes, absolutely. I think 199, fantastic value. To me, the Duke has style, comfort, and it's got enough protection in there to where if you get caught in any, any emergencies or caught in the rain, it's not such a big deal. You're not gonna ruin your boots or anything like that. So for me, it's ultimate great everyday wear and it is my new go-to Chelsea. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and you can also check out any of my other Thursday reviews popping up right here. Thank you again. Until next time, put your best boot forward.